Welcome back everyone, I hope you're having a good day today. So in this episode, I have quite the plan to achieve. I hope to take on and kill the Ender Dragon with a stick. Yep, I promised it. Unconventional weapons, and I will deliver. Just like how I'm about to deliver these stalactites to the cows down there. In the last episode though, I built this pretty cool airship with a villager serving as its captain. And I'm happy to say that I will name our captain, Captain Jude. So thank you very much for that suggestion, Mind Fiend. Now though, it's time for the cows to receive their delivery. Oh yes. I enjoy that too much. I, I might have a problem. <laughs> Let's just pick up all of the raw beef though. Hopefully I've gotten a couple of stacks at least from that. Ooh, three stacks and 50. That's a pretty good number. That'll keep me going for a while at least. I do have one small issue when it comes to killing the Ender Dragon though, and that's that I don't have enough Ender Pearls for Eyes of Ender. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna chop down some of these spruce trees, turn the logs into sticks, and sell them to Captain Jude, who will provide me with emeralds, which I can use further to buy Ender Pearls from this cleric. I would also like some diamond boots that have feather falling on them, and I did not get that just then. That is unfortunate. I think I'll keep the boots that I have currently. Yeah, let's just disenchant that. And what have we got? Ooh! Feather Falling 3! I'll take it! Thank you very much, okay. It's not Feather Falling 4, but to be honest, you don't really need Feather Falling 4 for the dragon fight. Feather Falling 3 will be more than good enough. And the other thing that I'm going to need for this dragon fight is Strength Potions. So, I know that I said that I wouldn't use conventional weapons, and a strength potion is not a weapon. It is entirely a beverage. So I'll be using that to make myself deal a little bit more damage to the dragon with the stick. And that should hopefully be enough ender pearls to create enough eyes of ender for the stronghold. Now all I gotta do is find the thing. <laughs> Oh, also, I would quite like a lot of snowballs, because I do not have a bow, but, you know what, snowballs are also a ranged projectile. They just don't deal any damage to things other than, like, blazers. So they're, they're pretty useless in the end, other than for blowing up the end crystals. And this is all of the preparation that I've done. I've got six potions of strength, which is probably way too many, and I've got a lot of snowballs as well. Hopefully this will do the job. Now then. Let's see where this stronghold is. Where's that gone? Okay, okay, it's behind the mountain. So I guess we've just got to head in that direction for a little while. Ooh, that's good. I finally found a lush cave, everyone. Just in the crack of the mountain over there. So we, I might be able to go there and grab some moss. And then I can use those blocks whenever I like in this world. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh, oh dear, oh no. Oh, oh. Not the powder snow. Oh, I've really sunk in here. <laughs> oh, I know the difference in texture, but wow. It is hard to see. I, I, I was really hoping I could make it to the bottom of the mountain just then, but. Oh, I guess I got a little stuck. <laughs> oh, an azalea tree. How cute. Now, are we far enough away for this yet? No. Okay. Looks like we're heading in that direction. Oh? Oh, I think we're on top of it. Okay. Um, do I get that Eye of Ender back? Oh, there it is. Okay. I found it. So all I need to do is dig down and hopefully I'll find it directly beneath me. So, let's armor up. I mean business. Ah, here we go, everyone. I found the stronghold. Fantastic. Hopefully I won't come across too many mobs because the lack of weapons does make this a little bit interesting, to say the least. I do have a lava bucket. I guess that will do the trick. Ah, oh, this stronghold is a little bit scuffed. That's all right, though. We can deal with that. And here we've got what looks to be a library. Fantastic. So we've got some cobwebs here. Um, I might need to break these. Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, how do I break these? Guys, I don't have a sword! <laughs> okay, I, I, I got some iron earlier. Um, 
let's just craft some shears. I didn't think I'd have to do that. Okay. Uh, oh, thank goodness I had those. All right, let's just get rid of these cobwebs so I don't feel like I'm getting trapped in here. <laughs> okay, what's in this chest? A fat load of nothing. How about this one? Uh, I'll leave that too. Not worth it. Oh, I just heard a silverfish. Where is it? Is it beneath me? Is it... Uh, I'd really like to hear that sound again. Okay, I think it's this way. Okay. Is there something down here? Oh, we've got it! This is the end portal room. Oh, that's brilliant. Is, are those... Is that floating vines? <laughs> okay, I didn't know they could generate like that. That's interesting. Let's just get rid of that lava there. And we'll deal with these silverfish as well. Just remove that spawner. I don't need it. Let's just block that up. I don't want to be interrupted. And we'll just remove the rest of the lava as well. Because I just do not trust myself around lava. Now, can I actually climb onto these floating vines? Is that something I can do? <laughs> oh, 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 I, oh, I had it. Let's try it again. Come on. Oh, there we go. I'm floating on vines in the middle of the air. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> okay, well, that's a rather unique artifact. So then, I suppose that we should probably fill out the rest of this end portal. So, here's the last eye of Ender. Let's place it. Oh, I've always loved that sound. <laughs> so, am I ready? I have all of the stuff that I need in the Ender chest. Let's just set my spawn and sleep here while I can. And I'll dump all of the blocks that I don't need into this chest here, and I'll be sure to arm myself with snowballs and strength potions. So, there's nothing else for it. Let's jump in. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're on the edge of the island. Let's just dig ourselves a way up. All right then, dragon. It's just me, you, and the stick. I'm coming for you. Right, let's just throw snowballs at the end crystals. That's one. Okay. Oh, the dragon's being aggressive today. <laughs> and I don't know how well snowballs can go through iron bars. So, let's just do that. There we go. That's two. That's three. And that should be the crystals in cages down. And how about this one? Will that hit? I don't know. I'll just pillar up a little bit more and I'll try again. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. <laughs> how about this one? Uh, no, I think that, that's failing as well. Maybe. No! Okay. Oh, she's perching. I've still got a couple more left to go, though. So let's just try to ignore her. <laughs> I'm not going in for the kill just yet. She likes to charge when she perches as well. That's something I've noticed about the dragon's AI, so I've always got to try and be a little bit wary of her when she's perching like that. Nope. Okay, that doesn't work. I was hoping I could, uh, I could bat the fireball away. Like I can with a ghast, but no, that, that isn't something I can do. I completely failed that water bucket then as well. <laughs> okay, let's just climb our way back up. I will destroy this end crystal. No, oh, for goodness sake, dragon. Just let me break this end crystal, please. Okay, I've swum up again. I'll get rid of that water source that's in my bucket. And there we go, another crystal down. Now, can I hit that one? No, let's try that again. No, how about now? Uh, uh, well, I guess I'm not going to do that then. <laughs> it's another crystal down. And can I get the one next to it? Maybe just a little bit higher. There we go. I think that might just be all of the end crystals. Fantastic. I've snowballed them all. Now it's time for the dragon. So let's drink this strength potion. She's coming down to perch, so this is a good time to drink. And let's give it a good whacking. Uh, I can't hit her. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. That's actually an alright amount of damage. This shouldn't take too long at all, I don't think. The stick shall prevail! Oh, there she goes. Okay. That's a good amount of damage, though. I've done about a third with the stick. Incredible. Oh, she's coming down for a second time. All right then, let's do this. It's time for a good whacking, Miss Sender Dragon. Oh, ow. Oh no, I've looked at the Enderman. No, 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 okay. That's fine, I've got the water bucket. Uh, where's the Enderman? 
Okay, I've just got to whack this Enderman to death now, I guess. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, no, the dragon's coming down to perch. You know, I've got a big feeling that dragon's about to charge me. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Oh, can I land this? Oh, yes. Oh, that felt awesome. <laughs> that fall would not have killed me, but the fact that I didn't even have water in my bucket when she threw me up in the air. My goodness, that felt so cool. <laughs> All right, then, dragon. It's time for me to do this once again. Ow, 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 no, ow. Okay, um, maybe not then. Okay, don't whack me again. You can't fight the inevitable. I am inevitable. I just need her to come down and perch one more time. She's coming. Oh, she's breathing the dragon's breath. Come on, we've got this. We just need to get a little bit more health down. Just a few more hits. Come on. We've got this. This is pretty much in the bag. Oh, yes. There she goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have beaten the Ender Dragon with a stick in the unconventional weapons world. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, and some people thought I couldn't do it. Well, here we go, everyone. I've just proved them wrong. The stick is victorious! And one thing that I find a little bit interesting is the fact that I haven't actually died in this world yet. I, I know I have a hardcore playstyle, but it was a little bit up in the air with the fact that I can't use weapons. And yeah, this is making me think that I should have done this in hardcore the whole time. Oh dear. Let me just take in this XP though. Let's repair my tools first. Uh, does my shovel have mending? Yes, it does. Okay, good. Right. Uh, does anything else have mending? Uh, no, I do not believe so. Okay, let's just pick it all up. Yes, give me all of the levels. Thank you very much. And I don't want to go end raiding just yet. I think we'll do that in the next episode. But for now, I think we will take this dragon egg, claim it as our trophy, and head back home. And there we go. We beat Minecraft, everyone. Oh, yeah. And here I am, back at the stronghold. I didn't need to set my spawn here, but it looks like I've spawned back here. So let's just break that bed, and we'll take everything back again. We'll put the egg inside of our ender chest, as well as all of the rest of this stuff that I don't need anymore. And I guess we'll go back to the end again. <laughs> and we'll jump back through the end portal, and hopefully we'll end up somewhere closer to our base. And here we are. The sun is rising on a brand new day. Now, I think something might have gone through the end portal, like a little bit of XP. So where's that? Ah, oh, here there it is. Okay, that's good. This should be the block for world spawn, in case that ever interests me with this world. <laughs> ah, there we go. There is our base. Hello, Rosemary. I made it back. I killed the Ender Dragon without any weapons. Isn't that fantastic? Ah, oh, yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Hilda. I killed the Ender Dragon with a stick. <laughs> yeah! I did it! <laughs> yes, I know. Let's celebrate drinks all around. This is a fantastic day. Hello, Mildred. I did it. I did the thing I promised to do. I killed the Ender Dragon. Oh, you weren't supposed to poison us both. Oh, you silly witch. Hello, house cow. I did it. I've returned from the end. And I was victorious. As was the stick. Hello, Olaf. Thank you for your snowballs, mate. They were terrific. Hello, Captain Jude. I slew the dragon. Isn't that great? Uh, no, I'm I'm not selling you the stick. This is more valuable than one emerald. This is a this is a dragon slayer stick now. Okay. So, uh, this I think lets me fiddle around with the the controls in the cockpit, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. MLG water bucket. Here we go. Nailed it. So I think given that this is a Dragon Slayer stick, I should call it Dragon Slayer. I mean, why not? Let's slew the dragon. <laughs> and then I think I'll use all of these levels that I just acquired to enchant some books. Hopefully we'll get something good out of this. Although that is not what I want to see. Maybe something good. Sharpness, sharpness. Oh dear. Right, okay. Smite four. Oh, please. Give me an enchantment that isn't a weapon enchantment. Come on. Multi-shot. Smite, not back, come on! 
You can do better than this channeling. I can't use these enchantments. Oh, jeez. Okay, efficiency three. Uh, I'll take that one, I guess. We can combine that. Okay, unbreaking three. At least I can use that one. Oh my goodness, there's so many weapon enchantments. I'm going to have to disenchant like ten different books. <laughs> I don't think I ever realised that everything is so heavily geared towards weapon enchantments in the enchantment table before. Wow, there is a lot of them. Okay, protection three, that's good. I can combine that with the stuff on my armor to get protection four. Okay, let's just disenchant that book. But I've got to say, the rest of these, I think I can keep. I think I can actually make use of these. So, Silky Smooth, for example, is not an efficiency five pickaxe. So let's just stick this book on there. And there we go. That pickaxe is now finished. And we can combine another couple of books. And this is going to be our helmet book so we can just stick everything on there and now we've got a pretty badass helmet awesome now all i need to do is to put mending on there uh, just ignore the lightning going off behind me hello i'd like to place an order for mending is that possible yes three please thank you very much so i think it's time that we get started on today's build project and this one's a pretty big build compared to what we've done so far I need a storage building, and I don't expect to finish it in this episode, because it's it's quite large. But I need an actual method of storing things that isn't just throwing things in random barrels in my starter house. Because as much as I like the starter house, it gets confusing rather quickly. And I think where I'd like to go is here at the top of the valley. But yeah, just look at these barrels. Like, this is awful trying to find things that I actually want. <laughs> At least I know where the valuables barrel is. This has to change. It is a pretty big build though, and I have run out of calcite. So, let's journey off into the distance, and hopefully we will run into a Stony Peaks biome. Is that what it's called? It's the ones that generate with loads of calcite, like, as, like strips going down the mountain. I don't know where they are though, so I'm just going to travel until I find one. <laughs> Luckily for me, though, Rosemary can run on top of trees. Yes, this is totally a realistic method of travelling. Ah, I appear to have come across a bit of an ocean. That's all right, though. Let's just uh, let's just see what's on the other side of it. No, it's just more forest. Oh, dear. Although... No, this is the wrong mountain entirely. <laughs> I know that it's a mountain, but these snowy mountains do not generate with calcite. So, Rosemary, we've come across a second ocean. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some mountains on one of the sides of this thing. Ooh, ocean monument. Some ruins, okay. Uh, what? What? No, that's another ocean monument. <laughs> okay, two ocean monuments within about 30 seconds or so. Okay, we've got a jungle. No, I've just dropped rosemary. Okay, come back here. Aha! This is looking promising. This looks like a stony peaks biome. Is there any calcite, though? Is there... Is there calcite? I don't see any calcite. Oh dear. Well, as cool as this view is right here with the jungle inside of this mountain bowl at the top here, I don't see any calcite. I've got to say though, this place looks absolutely fantastic. I'd love to see like a an ancient like civilization built within the trees here. It'd be so cool. Aha! There's some calcite. This is another mountain. But it does look rather difficult to harvest. I think I might try to find another one. Hopefully there's some other peaks around here. Now this is what I've been looking for. Excellent. This is exactly the kind of easy to harvest calcite that I've been hoping for. It looks like we've actually got a village between the valley here. That's quite interesting. And why is there a dark spot there? There is nothing above that space. What's going on? <laughs> Why is it dark? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and harvest as much calcite as I possibly can, though. And welcome back. I've harvested the calcite. I've filled up the, my entire inventory, as well as my ender chest, as well as rosemary, which is pretty good going. That should hopefully be enough calcite for the base for a good long while. Oh, hello. I've just come across a mazer, everyone. Isn't that amazing? The amazing mazer. <laughs> Look at this cave system, though. This looks actually 
seriously cool. I want to build in here now. <laughs> this could be like a, a nice little pirate's cave or something. This is awesome. Let's just grab that cactus though. I'm going to need that. Oh, well, I don't know if I need it. But having cactus is better than not having cactus. And here we go. We finally made it back home again. Fantastic. What's in this chest? Okay, it's a bunch of random resources. See, this is why I need a proper storage system. So that I don't just have random chests lying around. <laughs> Calcite is not the only resource that I'm going to need though. So, I think we're going to have to put in the grind to get a hold of those as well. I need deep slate, copper, spruce and dark oak logs. It's actually quite a lot. So, I hope you enjoy that time lapse everyone. Let's get straight into it. And welcome back everyone. I had to end that time lapse short just then unfortunately because of uh, an unfortunate creeper incident which means that I could not chop any more logs. I was chopping down the trees over there and then it was night time and I had to go sleep and I accidentally whacked a creeper with the axe. It looks like my axe, which I'd actually literally just repaired with a new axe, I'm going to need to throw it into the fires for a sacrifice. The issue with that, though, is that it was such an instinctual move. Like, I found myself in the same block as the creeper, and I just happened to hit it with the axe and not something else. Oh, dear. A rule is a rule, though. We are gathered here today to witness the last moments of the diamond axe that Whistler had just repaired. It had a short life. It lasted maybe one or two or three episodes. I wasn't counting. It had tasted the blood of an innocent creeper. However innocent a creeper could be. And so, it must be sacrificed. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We did get quite a few resources from that time lapse though. So I got plenty of ores from when I was mining deep slate, like deep slate diamond ores. And all of this deep slate as well. Got loads of calcite, loads of copper and diorite as well. Oh, we're doing good today. Now I want to play a little game with you viewers. I want you all to guess how many diamonds I get from 18 diamond ores. Leave your guess in the comments down below. If you're right, you get nothing but bragging rights. In fact, let's just mine this in F1 mode so that you can't even see how many diamonds I'm getting as I make my way down. Just don't cheat. I'm watching you. Don't do it. Oi. No. Yes. Oh, can you feel the tension? All of these diamonds. How many do I have? And the answer is 42. The answer to life, the universe and everything, of course, is the true answer. How could it have ever been anything else? <laughs> I did run out of levels earlier, though, and I don't like being on zero. So let's kill a few skeletons real quick. Or as quick as... Killing skeletons with a stick can be anyway. Alright then, let's enchant our brand new diamond axe. Hopefully, we'll get something good out of this. Efficiency 4? Efficiency 4. Okay, that's fine though. At least it's fast. And I can also finally put mending on our helmets because it's just about to break and it needs it desperately. <laughs> and I think we'll also put on the chest plate as well. Oh, get out of here, pillagers! What have I told you about trespassing? It's not allowed here. And I guess it's time for us to start building. I'm thinking we build it at the top of the valley here. This feels like a good location for it. And hopefully it'll turn out looking pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy that time lapse everyone. Let's get straight into it, shall we?
And welcome back everyone, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I now have a pretty cool looking build, I have to say. I'm really liking how this one turned out. It's got an empty interior at the moment, so we'll get to work on the actual storage itself in the next episode. But, I've got to say, I love how this has turned out. Like, we've got calcite, diorite, and snow introduced which is different to the rest of our builds here. We've just got calcite and maybe snow as well in one of them. And for the windows, we've used redstone lamps because I think that gives off a better steampunk vibe than just normal windows do. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. <laughs> and this is the interior. A lot of empty space, but it shall turn out to be a useful amount of empty space. Now, this bed is not a permanent feature of this place. In fact, this place isn't going to have a bed at all. I was just having that there so that I had somewhere close by to sleep. Oh yeah, I think this is going to look great within our little steampunk town here. I've just got to let the roof completely oxidize and then I can give it the same gradient as the other builds do. And then that build will hopefully be finished on the outside. Speaking of copper gradients though, this bee farm has totally oxidized. Although, I don't think I needed it on the bottom here. <laughs> so yeah, I think that means that we can give it a good bit of waxing. So let's just strip the copper down here. I think I prefer this as it's non-oxidized form. Yeah, I have almost broken my axe scraping oxidation off of copper. Wow. <laughs> I need a new one. So let's just craft ourselves up a new axe. And you know what? Let's try and enchant it. Let's see if I can get something good on it. Okay, let's see. Efficiency 3. Unbreaking 3. Yes! Let's do that. Fantastic. And then we can combine those two axes together. Uh, which one's cheaper? Okay, the other way's cheaper. There we go. That's a pretty good axe. <laughs> and now we can get to waxing the rest of the copper. Fantastic. And there we go. That's the gradient that I was hoping for with the bee farm. I hope you like it. <laughs> I'm afraid that that's all that I have time for in today's episode though. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thanks for watching.